Now we're going to discuss how do plants absorb water and mineral ions through their roots. So first, let's take a closer look at the roots structure. On my right side over here, we can see a 3D drawing representing the roots cross section only up to the xylem, showing the root cells and the xylem. Now this root cell over here is a special one. This is a root hair cell. Root hair cells have a protrusion that extends into the soil around them. That's to increase the surface area for absorption of water and mineral ions. The other root cells, which do not have the protrusion, we just call them root cells. So how does the absorption process work? Water is absorbed by osmosis. The water content in the soil is usually much higher than the water content in the soil. We have a high water potential region out over here and then a low water potential region over here. The diagram on my right side over here is to show the same thing but a bird's eye view. So here this shall represent the xylem. And then over here, these are the root cells. So why is it that the plant's cells, the root cells, have a low water potential compared to the soil around them? That we can discuss later on. So first, let's talk about water. Water moves from cell to cell until it reaches the xylem. The water will first be absorbed through the root cells on the surface. These are the root hair cells absorbing water by osmosis. And each cell, more towards the center of the root, has a lower water potential. So there is a water potential gradient and the water will be absorbed from the outer cells to the inner cells until it reaches the xylem. There are two ways the cells can transport the water here. First, we talk about the absorption of water by osmosis going through cell membranes. This is one way. Another way water can move into the xylem is where the water moves between the cells, like this. They don't necessarily have to be absorbed into a cell, actually, until the very end. Of course, at the very end, you have to move into a cell before it can be moved into the xylem. Okay? Alright. Now, how about mineral ions? Mineral ions are absorbed through the same pathways, but via diffusion and active transport. Now here, we shall talk about diffusion first. Diffusion is a process that doesn't require energy. Diffusion only requires a concentration gradient favorable to it. Now, if the plant has less mineral ions inside the cells and the soil has more mineral ions, then there's a concentration gradient whereby the ions on the outside will move into the cell. The water is going to move in by osmosis, but ions move in by diffusion. They follow the water, but by a different process. So this is the case if the ion concentration is higher in the soil. But most times, a plant will have accumulated a lot of ions, so the concentration of ions inside the plant will be higher. So instead of lower. Now let's talk about what if the ion concentration is much higher. If the ion concentration inside the root is higher than the soil's concentration, then the root cells will transport the ions inside by active transport. So this is situational. 
active transport on the A. other hand requires energy okay so a plant accumulates resources this way there is actually an important point to this by using active transport to forcibly move ions into the root cells it will lower the water potential in other words it allows osmosis to occur okay right and now let us be more detailed about this active transport can occur in the root hair cells over here but once that has happened the ions move in by diffusion so diffusion occurs from cell to cell right but active transport will typically take place only in the root hair cells diffusion can also occur here yes but if the concentration of ions is higher inside the cell already active transport takes place active transport of ions can also take place next to the xylem over here this will allow the water potential in the xylem to constantly remain low and when the water potential in the xylem is low osmosis will occur from the root cells into the xylem as well so you can see from this that the transport of water the absorption of water and the absorption of ions go hand in hand they work together